Hunter is a really, really sick dude. He's a sick dude. I don't know about Rose Mullet. Um, I, I don't know her enough to give a, like a full opinion on her, but I don't um, disagree with the statement. This is evil, and any woman with this device should be sentenced to life in prison. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is sick. That's sick. At bare minimum, they need to go to a sane asylum. I just don't think they should be out here in these streets. So to recap, the guy calls me a bitch, won't even let me say a word. The guy then s tries to make fun of me for having depression, but apparently he won't actually f***ing uh, allow kink shaming because he's just so noble and moral. And now he doesn't even understand what that spiky condom thing did because it doesn't chop off anyone's dick. And he is now against it saying it's hateful for a woman to defend herself in that way against a literal rapist. This is why his nickname is BX Bitch Boy. <laughs> You're such a pussy, dude. Okay, I'm You're back now. Sorry, pussy. I was you I was talking to somebody who can actually yeah, hear me yeah, since yeah, you won't shut you the fuck me, up. You yeah, I did. Yep. Did you mute me, you little pussy? Because you won't hey, stop you talking. Watch the full unedited, unmuted, because we don't mute people you, over here. You this won't stop talking. You, you won't stop talking. How are we supposed to have a debate if you won't stop talking? How are we supposed to talk if you won't? Why won't you stop talking? Why won't you stop talking? Why won't you stop talking? Hey, why won't you stop talking? Do you know how to stop? You're literally not having a serious debate. You keep changing the subject. So, quick rundown for those of you who don't know. There's this dude. Um, I, he made a video about me like seven months ago. I asked him to debate and he said no. I have screenshots of the DMs. I'll show you real quick too. Because he was jumping up yesterday saying, hey, join right now. Debate me and you're a bitch if you don't literally join right this fucking second. Um, okay. Well, then how come I have DMs of me asking you to debate or chat with me, and what did you say? Ooh, it would be sucky if I had screenshots of this, where I say, come on, buddy, let's have a chat. I saw your video, I'm about to go over and stream. Let's join and talk. And then I said, join, bitch boy, defend yourself. <laughs> and he says, LOL, I don't get summoned, fam. Eat a dick. And I told him that you're the biggest pussy on earth because he's a snowflake, he's a little bitch, and then wouldn't show up to actually debate. And then he messaged me at 1 a.m. and asked if I wanted to talk then. I was like, uh, I was asleep. Can we do it now? I said, I was asleep. Can we try then? Can we try at like 11 a.m., please? And I asked him multiple times. Look, multiple times. Hey, hello, can we please talk? I was asleep, bro. I really want to talk to you. Can we talk, please? Never got back to me. So I blocked him because I block little pussy ass bitches that, uh, that start, you know, getting really cranky and won't actually defend themselves. Next thing I know, this dude, check this out. This is how many videos he's made about me in like the last little recently, like the last couple months. But it's like, bruh, 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 bruh. Holy shit. I wanna chat with you, dude. Why don't you talk to me instead of making 10 billion videos for your stupid little fucking YouTube channel? But okay, apparently I'm being told he is in the chat. Who is he in the chat and how do I get him to join? BX Beast, Beast, Beast Boy, right here, hello. Um, do you wanna join my Discord, buddy? Hunter's wrong for this. Let's talk about soft ass Hunter Avalon or baby back bitch as I like to call him. If you don't know who that is, that's a one of Says the guy who literally wouldn't debate me when I asked him to and tried to schedule it and he was too scared. So off to a great start. Content creator that pretended to be conservative and the whole time he was a woke ass bitch. You're gonna all hear right. me call him that quite a few times. We're gonna go ahead and bitch, talk bitch. about all this all right, part. Now, <laughs> Pretended to be a yeah, conservative. You might That's also the first know thing. for not being able to grow facial hair. His wife not respecting him. His children not respecting him. Facial him hair. Being wow. Oh, so owned, bruh. Huge cock. I want Click to the link. So let's keep taking notes from his video though for now until he does. Make sure I said that. Um, and like slow motion, just in case YouTube gonna probably demonetize me, man. Yeah, man. Check me out on Patreon. But yeah, Hunter is one of the, the biggest bitches I've seen on YouTube or just in general. Right. And I think it's clear that I don't like him. I disagree with almost all of his opinions. I think he is so soft. He talks to people on the internet like he wouldn't talk to them in real life. Facts. That is facts. This dude would not talk to none of these people the way that he talks to them on the internet. And that's usually how these fake ass nasty woke trolls act, fam. It's like really clown behavior. I think this dude is trash. Super duper trash, man. But before we talk about what he did for this video, don't forget to hit that like button, drop some comments. He is so desperate. Oh my God. What did I do now? I'll take this demented to be illegal. Wow. I'm the one who's the bad guy in this. What?
to be sentenced to life in prison. Oh, what? what? Oh, say it ain't so, Joe. Say it ain't so. Shut up. Oh, <laughs> of course he's saying something this stupid. Now you might be wondering. Is, wait, is he actually this fucking retarded? Does he watch this and think this was legit? You realize it. She says should be sentenced to life in prison. So I said anybody that makes a take like this should be sentenced to life in prison. <laughs> Holy shit. What? What? Is he going to say like, I recognize it might be a joke. Fam. <laughs> Wondering what exactly is he talking about? What grinded his gears? What got his panties all in a bunch? This video is not going to get monetized. Well, I'll tell you exactly what it was. Uh -huh. It was a tweet from someone named Rose Mullet. I think that's how you pronounce her name. She's pretty much been the punching bag for most commentary channels for quite... BX is waiting for you to take the link. What link? Wait some time. I think she only has like a thousand... So this was me getting mad at Rose M Mullet for saying that you shouldn't say it's wrong for rape victims to defend themselves and i'm the bad guy here according to this guy this is the level of hunter derangement that he has by the way i'm blurring this out i'm gonna white it out i'm gonna do something i'm gonna do something fam like this, this is a crazy device the device that she's talking about is a device that was created to help women that were it rhymes with grape without the g right great without the g women who went through that trauma now i have to say that's horrible no one should have to go through that that is foul i'm really sorry if you have gone through that them that's extremely too far way too far i was looking at the comments underneath this and a lot of people rape especially if it's not in the kink role play way we don't kink shame in the fan gang we do not kink shame in the fan gang but if you like out here really really are you wilding wilding out here in these streets yeah you a sick ass dude or female because women do, do this as well okay right. it's probably the first time you had a sexy voice on your channel um oh yeah totally man so do you want to talk a little bit about it? Because you made like your your twenty videos, uh, basically coping about me nonstop. Well, you've consistently whatever, lied about, about me. Actually, I have some points. No, you're the fucking liar. I know I'm gonna prove it. Really? Right okay, now. so let's start um, with yeah. one lie. So wait, What's you one said lie that said? um you couldn't debate. No way. I just want to go through a bunch of. Eventually, we'll get to the lie part. But um, the first thing I do want to touch on because you just said it in the stream. You said that um you couldn't debate the other day because you were too high. Because I smoked weed on Wednesday. I had a little chill off day that day. And yeah, I smoked weed. Right. I, do you, are you so okay? So right you don't think that sounds real hypocritical with you calling me out and I smoke all day, every day, 24 seven? No, when I, I call, now? wait, hey, when I called you out, I smoked all day, every day, 24 seven also. Oh my God. So what's the difference then? What's the difference? What was the fucking excuse the other day? And also you Wait, what are you? No, no, no. What are you? Also, hold you on. Wait, 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 wait. You're you not going to ask me a question those... and then just nonstop talk. Right, Shut so the, the fuck up or I'll hang up on nah, you, dumbass. You so, like that, first of all, of I actually stop. Hey, shut the fuck up. The disrespectful little bitch is you, you dumb cunt. You don't know how to shut the fuck up. So, listen, okay? Hey, be quiet. I'm going to just mute you and tell it to my stream. I will mute it. You ask me a question. I get to respond. I get to, you ask, did, did you tell your wife I said hi? You asked me a question. Now I'm going to respond to it. Okay. So the so difference, the reason talk, you were, uh, the reason respect. I was able to, shut the fuck up okay, I got it. I got it. So the reason I was making the, or the reason I brought up the fact that I smoked weed is because I used to smoke weed all the time. And that was when I initially reached out to you and said, Hey, can we please talk when you ghosted me conveniently? Cause you're apparently very much Sorry, not a pussy. Not use it as a Second of all, you then about? I, did you just use it as an excuse? Period. Did you use it I, as an excuse? No, yes I'm not. I wasn't streaming. Did you use you being high as an excuse right now on this live stream? You also used, no. I was watching my kids. I, I no? was with my kids and I also so had smoked weed. I wasn't in a place say. where I could you didn't just say, mention the fact that you were high that uh, he hit me up when I happened to be high. He probably saw my stream earlier today. It was on the stream. You're on now, you lying ass bitch. Wait. Keep it I, real. Can you, can you summarize a little more what you... I'm trying to understand like what you're actually asking me. Did I mention asking, that I was high and use, that was one of the reasons like... like Wait, no, no, it wasn't. You a... ask me a question and let me answer or? Okay. If you'll do right, the same so for me, yes. My question, no problem, no problem. I want to be able to have this conversation. My question was, you don't think that's kind of hypocritical due to the fact that I think that you use that as an excuse for why you wouldn't pull up to the debate? Wait. The okay. fact that you was high and will, out of my. You I will ask you. I right will answer your question. Debate. Yes. So it's true that if I were still smoking weed all the time, that would actually be an excuse. But now since I stopped smoking weed and I only occasionally do, I get like really fucking baked and I'm not able to actually adequately debate. That wasn't an excuse. That was literally me giving you one of the reasons why I wasn't able to just randomly start a live stream when I also 
have streams on a schedule. Like I have kids, like kids are in daycare right now. I'm not able to just drop everything and go and debate you. Even if I hadn't smoked Wait. weed, I would have been with the kids. That's why I wanted <laughs> to schedule it for you today. Hunter? That sounds crazy, Hunter, due to the fact that you randomly DM'd me. Yo, come and debate me on you a bitch when I was asleep, Hunter. That makes no sense. You did the same to me. And now we're, we okay, finally so you figured it out. That that's what you did the first time. You just showed that and left that out. You left that out when you just showed that what on are you, your phone. You're acting like I'm saying things that are a you, gotcha, but you're not explaining you what how it's a fucking me gotcha. Me to while I was asleep, when I woke up, I said, yo, I'm up right now. Which yeah, was midnight my time. So no, that was midnight okay. my time. I hit Listen, you up multiple times, up. bro. What are you talking about? Morning, Wait, I did I or did morning. I not you message you multiple times? Did I or did I not? Did I or did I or did I not message you? Did I or did I not message you multiple times asking to schedule something? Did I or did you? I'm literally going to repeat it until you just shut the fuck up. So did I or did I not ask you to please schedule something for me and you never would get back to me? Wait, do you care to respect you? This is hilarious to me. You. you are so desperate. You, you, you realize pussy. that you're actually wrong, so you're already <laughs> falling back on these cheap little insults. Yo, you're lying. You just got caught, and now you oh no. What did I, you, wait? What did I get caught lying about? Please answer me. What did I get caught lying about? What did I get caught lying about? What did I get caught lying about? Did you present that to your fucking fans? Get, what did I get caught lying me? about? Answer. I don't know what you mean. Did you present that to your fucking fans? You gotta shut the fuck up, you little. Present what? Answer the goddamn question, you worthless piece of shit. Get to the question. Up, how do you raise kids? Hey, how, how are your kids, you? buddy? How's your dad? Do you even have one? Hmm? Where's your mom? Are you, are you I'm homeless? Dad, <laughs> I'm your dad. Do you have, do you have no family? <laughs> I'm you your have dad, no family dude. at all? My wife is my Listen, team. hey, she I have too. a real. I have... Your wife needs a real man, Hunter. All right, let's let's You're try to back up with the joke or laugh and the petty insults, okay? Listen, hey. That's not a joke. You know what you need is you need a real father figure because the fact that you have to suck your uncle's dick every night just to feel love, it's really sad. I understand, man, that for you. Listen, hey, I get it, dude. It's really tough, okay? Trying to be a little fucking bitch ass dude, joker all day i get it dude it sucks getting was pegged in the ass by your uncle okay i understand Hunter. but you know what you can report was it to the police you'll get help like my friend bitch sad you will get help my friend did you take a break from depression hunter you will wait you're not going right? to derail the conversation into multiple different things. This is bitch. hysterical you how desperate so you are. Gangster. You are unable you to follow a train of thought. You're actually high as a fucking like piece of shit right now. This is insane to me. take a break. I'm so depressed. Are you making right fun now. of somebody for actual having depression right so now? Fucking tough. Facts are not facts. Wait, are you, you are you making like fun of me like, for being depressed? Weapon? I'm making fun of you for being a bitch. Not all depression. Is Don't being, try to put it on that damn Is being a depressed you. a bitch no, move? No, no. Hunter being a depressed is a bitch move. That's what I'm saying. Don't try to put this under the umbrella of depression. Hold on. I see your fucking It's funny because you're, you, you're trying so you're desperately to like derail the combo that now you're in an area you, where you Hunter. literally are so optically bad man, that it's Hunter. actually fucking I'm hysterical you're here. Woke bitch, so Hunter. wait. I'm saying that you can't go. Right, you're muted. Here, Bye. Hunter. So what the fuck <laughs> does it mean? He muted me. Yeah. Oh, he ran. No, come on. Bitch, I don't actually have you muted, you know. I don't have you muted. Well, wait. You're not talking. You're not letting me talk. You're not letting me talk. You're not letting me talk. I watch your debates. You do that to people all the time. Stop bitching. I am trying to follow a conversation with you. So I recognize right now this is already his goal. Another depression break, little bit. Just, just to be clear for everybody watching. Are you going to cry again? So just to be, make sure you tell. Just to be clear for everybody watching, um, his goal here is unironically to basically be as insufferable of a stupid cunt as possible so that I just hang up because I'm not able to actually get a word in so that he can then start screeching about how I rage quit. That is his goal. That is his intent because he is a dishonest hack. And that's exactly why I called him a little pussy ass bitch. Originally, this is why his nickname is BX Bitch Boy. <laughs> such a pussy dude okay i'm back now sorry pussy. i was i was talking to somebody who can actually yeah, hear me yeah, since yeah, you won't shut you the fuck me, up you yeah i did yep. did you mute me you little pussy because you won't hey, stop you talking the four, unedited unmuted because we don't mute people you, over here you this won't stop talking you, you won't stop talking how are we supposed to have a debate if you won't stop talking how are we supposed to talk if you why won't you stop talking why won't you stop talking why won't you stop talking hey why won't you stop talking do you know how to stop you're literally not having a serious debate. You keep changing the you subject I, and then laughing like I a said, fucking you joker. Think I was gonna have. Why are you yelling? <laughs> because so you won't Relax. shut the fuck up, you <laughs> retard. On, Back you're the fuck up, out. dude. Calm if you down, want me Hunter. for the clout, you need to shut Calm the fuck down, up. Hunter. Why are you so? Are upset, you gonna stop man? talking? Relax. Are you gonna let me respond? Relax. Are you gonna let me respond? Relax. Are you gonna let me respond? Are you gonna let me respond? I guess I'll just keep on stopping. You know, I'm just not gonna stop talking since this guy doesn't know how.
Hey, no, base, his shtick is literally because he knows as soon as he lets me talk, he's gonna lose the debate. That's the problem. Baby mustache having ass, whiskers like a rat. <laughs> Shut up. What else you gotta say, Wokey? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Am I allowed go to ahead. talk now? Hey, shut the fuck up, Wokey. Okay. <laughs> this guy's a pussy. Do you think this oh makes you look God. good right now? I want the same Hunter that was talking to that gay conservative right dude. Hunter, I want the gay, the the same gay guy conservative guy. Let me talk, you guy. piece of shit. Nah. Because he, that's I don't why. Know why he did that. He should have stumped on you. He should have stumped on you. Stomping on somebody is not talking with, nonstop, so they can never with, say bitch. a word. I'm you not really... having a serious debate with you. I'm just roasting the fuck out of so, you. So again, you can notice quickly what his goal is here, which he's not interested in a serious debate because he realizes that if he had a serious debate, he would get absolutely fucking massacred. This is the problem: is he's now trying to pivot, and I'm literally just muting him because he will not shut the fuck up. Keep calm. No, I don't need to be calm with somebody who's being an actual retarded troll. So again, the problem here is that he took a huge L right away and he realized this, right? Where he said, oh, Hunter has depression, LOL. Trying to make fun of somebody for actually having depression? Like, that's not cool, dude. But he will not let me talk. Like, does he realize this isn't a debate? Just let him talk? So people are saying, just let him talk. I did that. And then the minute I tried to respond, he said, psych, and then kept on blabbing on. He doesn't actually want me to talk. Hey, bitch. Be a real man. Once you let me talk, I'll stop. Your wife when you, when you stop talking, like when you let me talk, deserves. I will stop. When you no, let me talk, when you let me talk, me, I will stop. I get disrespectful. When you let me, I'm telling you, shut the fuck up. And you're, I'm not you're not actually letting me talk. How are we gonna? How, why would I? You're disrespectful, so I'm, I'm giving it back. Right, bye. See you later, fucker. What a piece of shit. Let's finish the video he makes about me to see how much of a little cuck this guy is. Let's go and look at some of them because he's obviously too much of a little beta to even give his actual opinions to my face. It's funny because I have this written down here from one of his videos. This is actually very telling. I'm glad that we actually had our talk because he really just exposed himself for being the little, uh, you know, piece of shit dweeb that he is. So he says that I would only talk to people on the internet like this. But yet he actually had a chance to talk to me face to face and ran like a bitch. Now, did he run in the... F no, not exactly because I'm the one who ultimately hung up. He is a joke. He is just looking for content. But even more so, if I'm too scared to say these things face to face, why was I trying to say things to you face to face and you wouldn't let me? I, I don't I'm confused. So I pretended to be a conservative. He wouldn't defend that at all. He literally would rather laugh like a joker instead of defending the point. That's cute. Makes a facial hair diss. Like, OK, great, I guess. Apparently he's black, so people are now accusing me of being racist by making the dad joke, but I also made a mom joke that you had no parents, so uh, again, very cringe. They're the ones acting woke. I disagree with all the opinions only online, or no, I would only talk to people the way I do online. Apparently he disagrees with all my opinions, guys, but yet he wouldn't actually talk to me. All of my opinions, every single opinion of mine, he disagrees with me on. But yet he was too much of a little uh, baby back bitch to show up and defend that. Really? That is really sad. Uh, and then calls me a woke troll. Again, now they're trying to accuse me of being racist for making a very hilarious roast in which I make against people of all races. It has no racial uh, uh, motive or, or undertone even. Yet now you're accusing me of being woke. Like you're. I'm literally being a not woke troll, and yet you're now using that to claim that I'm not being woke enough, which is somehow bad for me, even though you called me a woke troll a minute ago. Man, and he has the gall to make fun of my appearance. Ooh. I was muted, then banned, and kicked out of the, the, the whole Discord because I used the N-word. He used the N-word, by the way, in a way that was uh, derogatory. He was calling people the N-word as an offensive slur. So, like, don't get up here and be like, I'm black. <laughs> I can say the N-word, fam. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We don't allow people to say the N-word in the channel if they are using it derogatorily. And you were. So you got banned. Cry, cope, seethe, dilate, and go to hell. Let's see if he has another thing about me. Hunter's wrong for this. Crying about Ben Shapiro. Wait, what was I wrong for? No, yeah, you're, you're sick if you're doing that, right? You're also sick if you're trying to... Especially if it's not in the kink roleplay way. We don't kink shame in the fan gang. We do not kink shame in the fan So, of course, it's good, by the way, that they don't kink shame in his uh, stupid, pathetic little quote-unquote community because, again, it would be very mean to make fun of the fact that he clearly has a kink of, like, his uncle dominating him. It's, 
you know, there's probably some grooming that went on there. It's not not great to talk about. I'll, I'll respect his privacy. But if you like out here really, really, are uh, you wilding, wilding out here in these streets? Yeah, you a sick ass dude or oh, female because women do do this as well, fam. Um, no one so does. he's saying I'm wrong for saying the for shitting on Rose Mullet about not defending yourself against rape victims. Wait, what? What am I wrong for? You not understanding sarcasm in a tweet? Talk about it though, but women and females 100% do that same crime, right? Now, yeah, you're, you're sick if you're doing that, right? You're also sick if you're trying to chop off people's little mans. I think that's crazy. That's that's a little intense. Why would you do that? Why would you like you just, oh, I want to chop? No, that's you speaking from a place of hate, and I get it. But if something. What? So wait, he's actually saying that I'm the one in the wrong, and now he's defending. The, the take from Rose, from Rose Mullet. So to recap, the guy calls me a bitch, won't even let me say a word. The guy then s tries to make fun of me for having depression, but apparently he won't actually fucking uh, allow kink shaming because he's just so noble and moral. And now he doesn't even understand what that spiky condom thing did because it doesn't chop off anyone's dick. And he is now against it saying it's hateful for a woman to defend herself in that way against a literal rapist. Wow, you know what? It's a good thing he didn't talk to me because he would have looked like the actual biggest piece of shit imaginable. What kind of piece of shit unironically supports rapists over the rape victims, makes fun of depression, and then calls somebody a bitch for not debating them or debating you, and then when they come in to try to debate you, you will not stop talking over them. My option was to do some kind of crime or something um, extremely sick. And retaliation that that doesn't make me any less crazy right um also why not what do you mean he doesn't even know what it is guys he doesn't know what the spiky condom thing is to recap if somebody didn't watch my debate with rose uh mulet you definitely should check it out she literally said that uh rape victims wearing these condoms that would otherwise if a rapist entered them it would clamp on their penis, so they would have to go to the emergency room to have it removed. It doesn't break the skin, it doesn't chop your dick off, but it helps to prevent rape, and if rape does occur while you're wearing that, it helps to force the rapist to go to the hospital. It was only ever a, a prototype, it was never actually released on the market, and it was only going to be released in South Africa, where rape was endemic. So there's so much more nuance here that he completely overlooked and is now saying I'm wrong about the, the condom thing. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, dude, this is like someone who hit their head on a, like super fucking hard on the pavement and then became, you know, clinically insane. Kind of like this piece of shit. Um, BX bitch boy. But yet then claims everyone else is wrong for saying no, actually... I am not holding up six fingers, okay? I'm holding up three fingers. There are three fingers here. <laughs> no, fam. What are you talking about, fam? Nah, dude, you're you're holding up six fingers, bro. <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> it's like, dude, you're the one who's mentally deranged here, okay? Not me. I'm not the one who's wrong. You only think I'm wrong because you're a stupid bitch who hadn't who uh didn't even bother to do a single ounce of research before jumping on here and making your cringy little video. Yeah, literally, so hate Hunter Avalon so much that you defend the rapist. Wow. Man, that's impressive. The Hunter Avalon derangement syndrome. <sighs> Man, that leaves nothing to be desired. Not just carry a weapon. I just get a weapon. Taser. Uh, the little deuce deuce. Something that had bullets. Why is that not an option before this insane thing? What if the device malfunctions, right? Wait, what? Did he just say get a gun? Hold on. Uh, the little deuce deuce. Something that had bullets. In retaliation that do some kind of crime or something um extremely sick in retaliation that that doesn't make me any less crazy right um also why not just carry a weapon right to actually get a device and to put it inside carry a weapon so like could you be talking about a gun because you realize that the condom thing doesn't kill the guy the gun does what happened to your noble mor moral stance on how much the rapist shouldn't have that poor little pee pee pain inflicted upon them, my friend? Huh? What what's going on here? You're supposed to be hating me so much that you literally defend the rapists, remember? Of you. Why not just get a weapon? Taser. Uh, the little deuce deuce. Something that happened. Deuce deuce. I'm pretty sure he's saying gun because he thinks he's going to get demonetized for that because he's a bitch. Bullets. Why is that not an option? The bullet. Wait, this so shoot a rapist to death, A-OK, -okay, wear a condom that if you don't have a gun, because I don't actually know what the gun shit is like in South Africa, 
wear a condom to protect yourself against a literal rapist, that's too far? He wouldn't un This is why, by the way, again, remember when I muted him and I told you guys, he's not letting me talk because he knows the minute I talk, I'm going to ruin what he's saying. This is why he didn't want me to talk. This is why he wanted to the conversation to stay on whether or not I was using weed as an excuse to not talk. Like, I don't stream during that time, and it wasn't an excuse. I was literally high, uh, and I was with my kids. So, no, I wasn't making an excuse. I was giving a valid justification for why I wasn't able to jump on my stream right then and there to debate you on s extremely short notice. But at the same time, you wouldn't get back to me about when we could schedule something. The same thing. What if the device malfunctions, right? Has it been tested? Yeah, you know, what if it malfunctions like your brain? Damn, that would be sucky. Like, much? You don't think it's gonna, like, malfunction and mess up and then a girl is gonna be really injured? You don't think that's a possibility? At all? I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's just so com concerned for the woman. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Uh, no. What if you chop that thing off? And it ain't even a what if, because this will happen. Um, People have had their thing chopped off and grabbed it ran to the hospital got surgery and good as new just a little scarring on it Still does he really think it chops the penis off this is, i'm actually really glad that we're looking over his videos now because it makes so much more sense why he was too much of a pussy to talk to me um you know since he plays so bad faith to me i'm definitely going to start playing more bad faith to him listen bx bitch boy it's really concerning how uh how how concerned you seem to be for the well-being of the rapist's penis Hmm? What's the what's the deal with that? Are you worried that that might end up kind of hurting you if it were to reach the market? Is that like something going on there? You want to talk about it? You know, this this sounds kind of yikesy. Why is he so desperate to uh, to defend the rapist? Are you afraid that you won't be able that? Well, nobody in my fan base has kink shamed me for enjoying literal fucking rape. So, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever, fam. I'm going to go go get mine, fam. They'll use that thing. Still use the thing. What if you chop off this person who is committing this crime, this grape? Without the G. Committing this crime. You chop their little mans off. And as they are extremely upset and angry and in pain, they just wild out. The the goal is different now. Now you're going to get pummeled. You don't think that's a chance? Or you think he's going to be in so much pain, he's going to jump off of you and run away, allowing you to get up and run? Yes, actually. Yeah. Listen, I get that maybe you have like a micro penis or, or not a penis at all. But for those of us who have like even regular sized dicks, uh, yeah, pain... When you get kicked in the balls, or especially if you had like a spike condom clamped down on your literal penis, uh, I mean, I know me personally, I would probably be in enough pain that I wouldn't want to then get up and start attacking people. Not to mention, when it clamps on, it's really hard to walk with it because it hurts. That is definitely something that I guess hypothetically could happen, but it's very unlikely the way the device works. Um, but okay, yeah. Just won't somebody think of the rapists? What, what if that's not what happens? What if he kneels down, like leans down out of the pain, still being over you, and then... You know what, that's a good point. That's also a good point, chat. If he thinks it chops the dick off, does he think they're just gonna keep on fighting? Like, does he think their literal penis is getting hacked off and they're gonna be like, well, before I get take care of this, let me just pummel this bitch. Like, what are you talking about? It's not even consistent for your own, like completely ill-informed opinion into pummeling you like you don't even think about that right but sick ass people like a hunter avalon yo this dude is a nincompoop like what that sounds crazy you know what sounds appropriate for these dudes jail with maybe a sentence that could be more extreme to where yes that's how it's supposed to work when a woman is suddenly getting raped she should just say well thankfully later on this man will be put in prison do you hear yourself you bx bitch face do you understand that what you're saying right now is not only demented beyond belief, but it's actually coming from a place of privilege. You're coming from a place where you don't have to worry about experiencing rape, at least not to nearly the same extent that women do. They should just go to jail. What is supposed to happen when the woman's actually getting fucking raped? Should she just close her eyes and be like, well, he'll go to jail <laughs> later on. What are you talking about right now? You cannot be this dumb, but I know you are. So it's really sad. Maybe they don't exist on earth anymore through the, the court process. Maybe that's a better option. That's, that's a better option. What they should happen to the woman when she's actually getting attacked? What? For uh, Wayne Exhale, like, I don't, I don't really understand that. Hunter is a really, really sick dude. 
He's a sick dude. Says the know. guy literally defending rapists. Man, man, fam. Yo. <laughs> Throwing the uh, mandatory Joker Joker laugh there. Yo, fam. Hunter's so sick, fam. That he actually thinks that rapists should face consequences immediately when they're actually attacking someone, fam. What the fuck, fam? Yo, Hunter's so fucking fucked up, fam. <laughs> fam. Jesus. It's like everything about him. His, his uh, uh, smugness. His stupid fucking voice. The consistent use of fam. It's like when people used to say lit all the time. His juvenile approach at literally everything. The fact that he won't actually talk to me but calls me the bitch. It's cringe beyond belief. What about Rose Mullet? Um, I don't know her enough to give a, like a full opinion on her. But really? I don't um, disagree with the statement. This is evil and any woman with this device should be sentenced to life in prison. Yeah. Yeah. He agrees with it. He thinks that women who use this shit to defend themselves should be sentenced to life in prison. He didn't even do the most basic research on how the device works, how it would be used, what the process is in using it, how to actually use it if it's even available on the market. He did none of this research and is now literally siding with the position of a rape victim shouldn't be able to protect herself against a rapist attack. I can't believe it, man. Rape is bad. Oh, I'm getting crucified on the internet from apparently really smart people like BX Beast Boy, who thinks that rapes it, <laughs> rapists should just go to jail, fam. Yeah, what about when they're committing the crime? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I hope that next time you're like, uh, someone breaks into your home or something, uh, you know, you'll just sit there and be like, well, they'll go to jail eventually, fam. <laughs> that, that is sick. That's sick. I'll be a minimum. <laughs> They need to go to the insane asylum. I just don't think they should be out here in these streets. <laughs> okay. Man, oh man. This was great. He unironically just exposed himself here at the very end. This was great. Well, uh, maybe he's just mad because he still has one of those things stuck on his dick and he's too scared to get it removed because he knows how it's going to look. You know, maybe that's the case. Actually, no, that's not true. His dick was definitely already cut off a while ago. <laughs> Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.